Hey, my name is Mark Hennings. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Simple Booth, and I am very excited to share our new product with you today. It's called Virtual Booth. It is a virtual photo booth, and what that means is that anybody can use it. You just send them a link, they can take their picture, they can do some really cool stuff with it, and then all the photos aggregate in a gallery, and all this can be done remotely, so it's virtual. Um, this is really awesome for virtual events, and it's also it shows a great, lot of potential as a marketing tool that you could use all year round, and I'll get more into that later. My goal for this video is to show you how Virtual Booth works, how easy it is to set up, and then uh, give you a taste of what that looks like for the participant experience as well. So I'm here in my Simple Booth dashboard. I just created a brand new account, and we're gonna set up a new Virtual Booth preset. So I'll go to the Presets tab, and from here, I'll press the button to create a new preset. I'll give it a name. Uh, this is just for internal use, so I'll call it my virtual preset. And we have this new uh, choice here between a physical or a virtual capture type. We're gonna create a virtual one, but uh, you could create a virtual and a physical one and easily point them into the same gallery if you're doing uh, what the industry is calling a hybrid event now. So choose virtual, and then go on to customize uh, a gallery. It'll pre-fill the gallery name with your preset name. You can change that. You can change your hashtag, your colors. Um, for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna leave it as it is. So now I'm on my virtual preset settings, and there is quite a bit here to check out. So the first thing to understand is the participant access. This is going to give you a link. We call it the capture link. Um, you can copy it or open it here. I'm going to go ahead and open it because as I make changes, I'm going to refresh it and show you how the experience adapts. So if you open that link, this is what your participants would see. Uh, we've got all the default settings here right now. Welcome to the virtual photo booth. Snap and share your selfie. Um, this is called the splash page. So I'll keep both tabs open and I'll go back to my settings. Um, this link is unique to your preset, so it's what you're going to share with people for them to take photos. We also generate this QR code for you, uh, which you can download, and you can do a lot of creative, interesting things with that as a way to promote your virtual photo experience. Um, if you're doing an event and you want to stop at a certain point, you don't want people to keep taking photos, or maybe your marketing campaign ends on a certain date, you can come in here and press stop and then you won't have any more pictures being taken at this link. As we scroll down, we come to the branding panel. Um, the branding is very, very customizable. Um, the header image essentially will replace this default virtual booth um, font we have. And the text color right now is white. You can see this is white text. Um, you can change these big headings to whatever you want. Um, you refresh it, you see the changes. So instead of welcome to the virtual photo booth, maybe I want to do something like take a picture with our awesome photo booth. And it saves as you change it. You just have to go here and refresh the page to see the changes. Um, the background image, we support a full screen or a repeating background image. And then you can adjust the opacity here um, because you may wanna blend it in with the background so that the text still pops. Um, the background color, you can do this gradient. Um, you can make it radial, which is really fun. So like uh, if I do maybe a light blue um, in the center, and then I refresh that. Um, it's just a really nice effect. Um, we've got this preview area as well. This preview area is not meant to be taken entirely literally. Uh, that's why I have the other tab open to see my changes as I go. Um, so all of that is a lot of fun to play with and make it really feel unique and like your brand. It's really important if you're gonna create a digital experience that um, you know it's memorable and unique um, that's really what grabs people. 
Now, here's what I'd really love to dig into are the overlays, the background replacement, and the stickers. Um, so as you go through the experience here, uh, say I, I'm going to take a photo as a participant. I'll press Let's Go. It's going to prompt me, first of all, to use my camera. Um, and it doesn't really matter if they allow or block it at this stage because if they block it, there is a great fallback to just choose an image from their camera roll or their photo library. Um, but I'll hit allow. And now we've got this preview of me. Um, you can see I can either take a picture in real time or still choose a photo from my library. I'll go ahead and just show you uh, where this takes me when I take a photo. very much a photo boothy type of countdown. Um, and at this point, it's just a photo. So I can post it, or I, if I don't like it, I'll just retake it. Um, but what makes this really unique um, and different than just taking a photo on your phone are these cool effects. So the overlays, you can choose one or more overlays. I'll go in here and select one. Um, so now I've got an overlay, and if I just refresh this, the experience um, is going to change. It's going to add that overlay, okay? I've still got the same options to retake or post, but if I go in and I add one more overlay, um, this one's fun. It's tropical. I'll refresh that. I'm still here on the edit screen. I haven't submitted my photo. Now I can choose between these two overlays. Um, Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit more fun. But what if I actually want a different background because I'm in my home office and maybe I'm not excited about all that clutter at home? Um, well, we can do background replacement. So this is a really awesome feature. It uses AI to remove the backgrounds. It's really impressive. Um, I've got this space background I'll throw in here. And then I've got one more. Um, let's do the mountains. Okay, that's uploading. Um, for this one, I actually have to retake it because it has to do the background replacement. Um, let me choose a picture from my library uh, because I think this really demonstrates how good it, how good the feature, how well the feature works. Um, if I pick a girl who has a lot of hair, um, this will be very hard to manually cut out in Photoshop. Um, so I'm gonna choose my image area, I'm gonna crop it. The virtual booth app walks everybody through all the steps necessary. It's very easy to use. Wow, look how, look how that detail turned out on her hair. That's fantastic. Um, and now I can choose my background and I can switch tabs and choose my overlay. Um, just to show you how real it is, I also want to take a photo and you can see the background replacement done in real time on that. Processing. Boom. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so now I've got my picture in front of the backgrounds, I'm kind of sandwiched between these two visuals. I can also upload stickers. So I'll go in here. I'm going to choose a couple of stickers I like. I've got some aviators, um, a mustache, and hey, why not? A flower crown. Let's do it. I'll refresh here. And now you can see there's also a stickers tab. Um, I can click those or drag them on. I have this really intuitive resizing ability. Um, and rotation. I can get them exactly where I want. Um, get that oversized mustache going. You know what I'm saying? All right. I like it. So I've got my experience set up and I'm going to post it. And every photo is going to be different. Every photo is going to be fun because everybody gets to choose their own creative assets. And what we've done here is we've created this really great share screen. This is really focused. It's a very tight funnel. There's just one button to share it. 
um, at this at this point, you know, we're promoting whatever hashtag you customize for your gallery. Um, we've got this plugged into our analytics platform, so if they copy the link and they share it, you know, we're going to know how many views each photo is getting. Um, the link is shared to Twitter and Facebook. Same thing applies. Instagram goes through a really intuitive, multifaceted flow depending on what device you're on. So if you're on an Android, it's actually gonna pull up a share sheet and you're gonna have an Instagram icon. You can just go direct to Instagram with the image. On iPhone, we're gonna walk them through how to save the image to their library and then share it on Instagram because that's the best user experience there. Uh, we've thought through everything to make this a really great experience. And then after they share it, um, they can go back to their sharing options or they can go ahead and open the gallery or go home, which would be taking more photos and more participation. Um, the gallery is where the images are gonna aggregate. So right now there's just the one photo that was taken. Uh, you have the option to make your gallery public or private. So if you, don't, if you make it private, they're not, then other participants are not gonna have access to the gallery. Um, it's totally up to you as the host and what kind of experience you are trying to set up. Um, for a marketing campaign, for example, I would definitely make it a private gallery. And so each person is just getting access to their own photo. Um, and there's some really cool ways you can implement that because of the QR code functionality. You know, this QR code, you could put it on anything. You could put it on your packaging. You could put it um, on some digital signage or some printed signage in a retail store or location. Um, this is something that could be rolled out and in, in virtually an unlimited fashion. It scales so seamlessly and it works just swimmingly with our current suite of products. So I really think that Virtual Booth is something that you should check out if you're at all into experiential marketing or user-generated content or photo marketing. Um, and for virtual events, it's just a way to make it more fun for participants and um, I hope you love Virtual Booth.